Hi! In my last video where I was sharing my shadow box which I made with the Prima Lifetime Collection I was talking about making some cards with my remaining scraps from this from this project so I'm gonna share these four cards right now this one I made uh, using this super pretty pattern which have the colors I love and I used a Tim Holtz die to cut the shape and I popped it up and I used this super cute um, ribbon from I think it's Maya Road or no I think it's May Arts well I'm confused it's this super pretty red, uh, velvet ribbon in the center and there's a crochet, crochet lace attached to it and I popped out this sentiment here and I used some Butterbee Scraps metals to um, act as brackets for my sentiment which uh, I popped out it, I don't know if I said it and I dry embossed my, my card and then I applied some paint with my fingers on the raised areas I used some of this Americana sea glass paint and full card in the a vintage white and then I used some ink which is this one it's kind of a coral pink it's American Crafts pigment ink in blush and you can see it in the, the corners here but for some reason it looks orange on my camera but oh well and then uh, that's it for the front and the inside I just punched this border which I forgot to ink the edge but that's the first card and then I have this one and I have this this uh, rectam rectangle scrap here and when I put it on the card I noticed that here it looks like some uh, skyscrapers and then there's all this green here that looks like uh, some trees and then this brown uh, strip on the bottom that looks like uh, sand so I don't know it, it made me think of Miami for some reason <laughs> and so I decided to use this uh, stencil of my um, my the crafters workshop stencil of these birds to make it uh, kind of a nature theme and to go with this sentiment here which I cut out from one of the sheets enjoy the little things so it's a pretty simple card and this flat back, flat back pearl here was white and I used the latte color of alcohol ink to change the color of it that's pretty much it for the front of the card and I popped out the sentiment here and for the inside I kind of did the same with the birds on this small scrap of paper these papers are so beautiful so this is the next one and now this one is similar to the first one I shared in terms of color scheme and also because the, um, the front was embossed with the same embossing folder just because I did it once and I messed it up so I decided to keep it anyway but I did it another one for this one here but then I decided to use this one anyway because what I did is was the embossing folder was not all the way to the, the side here and there was quite a bit of space showing that was not embossed and it really was bugging me so I've decided to discard, not discard it, but put it to the side and use it later but then um, I decided to use it on these with these scraps here which I put on, on uh, top and bottom and use this Tim Holtz die to get these two shapes out of it and again I went with the paint on the background on the raised areas and this paper was uh, came distressed like this I mean whitewashed and I just went on top of it because it was white and I just put some of my green paint just to make it blend a little more and this is a lavish laces piece of lace that 
was cream colored and I used my paint to color it to match it better because I wanted to have it green and these are more of these Butterbee Scraps corners that I glued together to make this shape to put my sentiment on and the sentiment I had already put the ribbon on it and when I decided to take it and put it on this card the ribbon was too long so I was gonna cut it but then I realized that it was naturally curling like that and so since this was on pop dots I decided to just take it and put it underneath and it's just uh, picking out a little bit here and I think it's it has a little bit of dimension and it's uh, it has a little something and it's really cute and it makes a nice finish better than if I had cut cut it so then I decided to use this uh, ribbon this uh, ribbon to act as an anchor for my flowers that uh, are not this color in real life they are not that bright and dark this for example is not blue it is kind of mint uh, pale green and these ones are a little uh, more coral than orange and these small flowers are from Jayzala's store so I think that's it for the front of this card and for the inside I used the scraps from when I cut these that, these shapes and so I put this tiny one on top and this uh, this other one on the bottom and I thought it would look cool it would be cool to you know write the message here and use this space to sign the card and I think it looks like a little bit like abstract art or something it doesn't really uh, mean anything but I think it looks super cool because this here is the reverse of this one so they kind of complement each other so I don't know I, I like it a lot and uh, the last one I made is this one another craft base card so I used this uh, piece of paper that was uh, perfect to use as a front of card because there's the little teapot here the, the word here is complete this one is complete this one missing a part but you can guess what it is and so I think it was a super scrap to use on the card and whoops and I just knocked my card and on the sides here there was um, this is from another sheet of paper and this is what this this was like a piece like this so I cut it in the middle and I decided to use it on both sides and I rounded the corners and I put on the seams I put some laces and this is part of the chipboards from the collection and I used these little hearts from Prima the faceted hearts and then on the background because I thought it would be uh, it would look uh, kind of plain I decided to stamp this little swirl which is the first stamp set I ever bought three years ago when I started scrapbooking so I was happy to use it again after a long time and these three flowers here are uh, from I am roses and what I do is whenever I make uh, uh, cards with my scraps I use my flowers my scraps flowers as well because I have this uh, small tin here where I keep all my uh, small sized flowers that I colored for a project one day and I decided not to use them finally so instead of uh, tossing them I keep them because I don't want to put them back with uh, the other white in my pack so I just put them in this container here and every time I need a flower on a card that I made with scraps I go inside this little tin and I have one also for bigger flowers and so I was able to pick these three from the tin and they fit perfectly my card and the, the colors so I was pretty happy about that and the inside looks like that these papers are super pretty and I use another stamp from the same stamp set to stamp on the inside so this is it for my cards with my scraps and I was gonna make more because as you can see I have more scraps here and here but I have to stop to start some other projects 
and before I leave I just wanted to share with you I'm not typically one to share my hauls but um, I went shopping with my sister and I found these and it was in a, kind of a dollar store type store and I found these color book paper stacks this one is the French country I found these and I consider myself super lucky to find these because uh, they are gorgeous but look at that I don't know if you've seen these if they are super old or what but I live in Canada so to me for me to find this in a random store is like wow super cool they are not double-sided and they are not as thick as the other papers but for the price I paid I'm pretty happy with it and this is this pattern really in real life looks like it's been stamped with the Tim Woods ink and that's this one this one my colors are off because this is not as bright in real life this is more like uh, muted yellow and this is just gorgeous papers gorgeous papers this is great all these stripes and they there is two uh, foil papers and there is a sheet of die cuts and there's a sheet of stickers with letters and foil corners and words and stuff like that and do you want to know how much I paid for that? Yes, I paid three dollars. So I was super excited. And then there was this one, which is a black, complete black and white stack. And it's super pretty. And I'm always on the lookout for uh, black and white papers because you can never have too much of them, especially when uh, people ask you to make some um, wedding albums and graduation minis so I, I need to have them on hand and the paper companies when they come up with the black and white paper we all know that when it's gone it's gone so when we find it we have to grab it so I did that and I'm super happy with it because there were three stacks left and I grabbed the three and if they had more I would have uh, taken all of them. So this is the foiled one with silver and the other foiled one and the die cuts and the stickers. So same price three dollars and while I was there I checked the other stuff and I just picked up these flat back pearls that are iridescent and these masks which are kind of plastic just the shape and I'm going to try to uh, use, use that on a canvas. So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope um, I inspired you to use your scraps. Thanks so much for watching. And have a nice evening. Bye-bye.